The redistricting process and lines for our electoral districts matters greatly for political representation. This has the power to suppress voters of color as well as immigrant and minority voters. Thomas A. Sands said that the redistricting only happens once every 10 years and the decisions made through this process can determine not just policymakers but policies made as well. Part of the process of redistricting is the census and the 2020 census was highly affected due to the previous presidential administration that attempted to leave out certain minority groups and immigrants. Through a ruling by the Supreme Court, each state and each locality must redraw their lines after the census to make the districts relatively equal in population. Leah Aiden said that the Voting Rights Act is central to the redistricting process as it directly affects minority voters and their representation within the states, giving their votes an equal chance to be counted. Two priorities that must be met while redistricting are one, to make sure each district has an equal amount of population as possible. Two, make sure that the minority community is not diluted. Justin Lovett said that under the Constitution, while redistricting, you must consider race and ethnicity and other factors at the same time that are all legally permissible and required. He added that each state has their own rules and they draw their districts accordingly. Terry O. Minnis said that how the district's lines are drawn also influences who runs for office and who is elected. In the end, redistricting can be used for good and bad purposes. Therefore, it is crucial that it is done by the rules and all the minority groups are accurately included.